Hey, what's going on, people? I got a question for you. What's the point of learning all of this material that we're learning now if we don't know how to use it? So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to use some of the material that we've already learned and how to apply it. Let's go. So if you guys remember not too long ago, I released a lesson explaining triads and how to build them. So we learned the triads, we learned the format, 135, 135, one minor 35, and then one flat 35. Okay, we learned that. So how do we use that? Where do we put that in music? How does it go? Um, let's do some examples and I'm gonna show you exactly how they fit in music. So just a little recap of the last lesson. If you guys haven't seen that, please go take a look at it. It's called the four main triads that you need to know. Learn those triads and come back to this so you can be up to date. So we had the major triad, minor triad, augmented triad, diminished triad. So for this case, I wanna show this inside of a song. I wanna show you a progression. So a common progression that you would hear these chord changes in or these triads, because they can be chords as well, just because we're playing separate notes. So I'm gonna show you the chords first. Then in the next lesson, I'm gonna show you how to build the bass line with the triads as well. So I'm gonna show you an example of these chords. So I wanna play it, I don't wanna play it up here. This sounds too high. Uh, yeah, let's do A. Okay, so you have A major. I'm gonna show you progression, A major. Augmented, A augmented, stay right there. And what you can do next, you can go to the B, B minor triad, and then stay right there. B minor diminished, or B diminished, not B minor diminished, but B diminished triad, and then you're back home. A nice little progression, you hear that a lot. I, it's actually um, a song from one of the games that like a Candy Crush game, I think I play. It sounds very familiar to that, so. Okay, so you get the idea, right? So you have major, augmented, so we're going, we're going out of order here. So we have major, augmented, minor, diminished, but we're using all four of them. So if we just played a song or played a progression using all four triads. So I'm playing them as chords. So if you want to know the chords up here, so I have major, fourth finger, third finger first. Make sure I'm in tune. <laughs> All right, you have um, major, augmented. This chord is actually pretty easy. You have third finger A, next finger down, you have your C sharp, and then next finger down, you have your F. It just goes diagonally. Uh, the next minor, all I did was move that up a whole step, but I played the minor triad. So the difference between the minor triad is the minor third and the major third. So B minor triad. And then all I have to do to get it diminished to stay right there, move that five down a half step. All right, so I have a minor third and a minor third stacked. You guys remember? And then I'm back home. Okay, so with the major chord, you guys know that major chord. You hear it in a lot of songs. If the key is in a major key, usually that first chord and that one chord is going to be a major chord. So that's very familiar if you hear that a lot. The minor, I'm just going through all of them. I'm not going in order of the progression, but I'm just going through all of the triads. So the minor, the song is in a minor key. You have that minor triad. Now with the augmented and the diminished, those are the two flavorful chords that you won't hear all the time, but the major and minor are the most common chords that you would hear. So with the augmented, you have to associate that with a sound. That's what I like to do, associate that with a sound of a song that I like to hear and it's like a simple progression that we just did. It's a very simple way to, or a very easy way to be able to associate that with that chord or with that progression. So in this case, I'm using the augmented chord as a passing chord to go to the two. Okay, so I'm doing A major. Staying right there. A. Now my next chord is going to be a B minor chord. So that's, in the case of this progression, that's what it's doing, that's its role. So it's actually being used as a passing chord 
get to the two chord or to the B minor. You remember your Ionian, your A Ionian, if you're in the key of A, whole step up will be your D Dorian. So that's a minor triad, okay? And then uh, the diminished, I'm using that almost as a substitution for the five chord, right? So. So if my five chord would be, if I'm in the key of A, my five chord would be E7 or E major. E major, I'm not using seven chords, I have to watch out for that, so we're using triads. So five, one. Instead of five, one, I'm doing diminished and then one. It resolves really nicely because you see the notes. <laughs> To that one chord so a diminished chord to a one chord sounds nice okay so that's how you would hear that chord in the next lesson I'm going to show you guys how to build the bass line to a song like this or to a progression like this and I'll show you some other examples of this augmented chord and diminished chord as well and this is a pretty common way well not as common as a major or minor chord or a major or minor triad uh, but it's pretty common to be able to use this type of progression or these chords, these augmented and the diminished chord. I think that's the most simple way to be able to understand these chords at first, especially when you're starting to learn them. Uh, so we're learning triads, we're learning chords at the same time. We're going to build on top of this. So make sure you know, so coming out clean, clear and precise, we're going to dig a little bit deeper into these triads. I'll catch you guys in the next one.